Hi guys, Brick McBricksworth here. So today, the review. It's a bit of an older set. It's sort of a throwback Thursday, if you will. I'm actually going to release this video on a Thursday, so it is officially a throwback Thursday video. <laughs> this one is the Lego Movie 2. Sweet Mayhem Eyeball! <laughs> Sweet Mayhem's battle star ship. Mayhem's sister starship. So yeah, I got this one for very, very cheap price from Smith Toys because it is retired now. It's 70830 and I'm going to open it up and show you what it looks like and I'll share my thoughts on this set. This late into buying this one. You know, already retired. Is it any good? Why have I bought it now? Why did I not buy it when I easily could have done from any old shop? Get on with it. Yes, get on with it! Get on with it! So guys, this one is the Sweet Mayhem ship that looks like an eyeball. The Sweet Mayhem eyeball! But this is from the Lego Movie 2, if you didn't already know that. So this one's pretty cool. It does look like an eyeball. <laughs> really reminiscent of an eyeball, of a fighting eyeball. Well, yeah, this one's pretty good. Let's see what you get with it. So inside here we have Sweet Mayhem in her sort of space suit thing. So yeah, you got the wings on the back of that one. It's a really, really cool mega, mi mega figure, <laughs> mini figure. It's a really cool minifigure, this one, and she's got the helmet that comes off, and with this set, you get the extra hairpiece. The hairpiece, which has got all the colours in. Now, this one is so cool. Absolutely love the hairpiece for that one. And it also comes where, you know, you get your little things as well, so you can have... So she can be flying. But yeah, that's really, really cool. For a mini doll, and, you know... It is really, really awesome, awesome mini doll. That's cool, that one. You also get Emmett in the set, because what would a Lego Movie 2 set be without an Emmett? So we've got the scaredy face on that side, and we've got the happy face on that side. So yeah, that's an Emmett. You also get some little tiles. You get some little star tiles. Now, more about that later on, but you do get some spare uh, star tiles. Inside this thing here, We've got the side, let's like open it up. And this is like sort of the jail area. Um, that's a sticker on there. So yeah. And then inside there you get Lucy because she gets captured in the uh, in the film early on by Sweet Mayhem or whatever, taken away. And yeah, she's got the uh, angry face on that side and happy face on that side. So yeah, another cool minifigure there. So that's yeah, it's three, three pretty cool minifigures. So inside this one, there is a sticker inside there as well. Uh, that sort of flaps up for what reason? I don't know. Maybe it's a toilet for her while she's stuck in the prison. Maybe she could do toilet news. Who knows? It's been a while since I've done one of these. I'm in the toilet, toilet news. And then around this side, well, yeah, you've got the control console there. This is pretty basic inside, inside that bit. It's just the two controllers and basically where your mini doll sits. But it looks effective once that's down. Uh, you can't see in too much. You can see in a tiny bit, I suppose. Oh, or can you? Because it is, it is transparent, but you can only see a small amount through. Cool. And then on this side, this side opens up as well. But in here, this just pops off pretty easy. Um, and you've got the hidden, Sweet Mayhem's hidden guns inside there. Behind that thing. So that's pretty cool as well. And then you've got two more uh, buildable characters. You've got the star and you've got the heart uh, there as well. That does things as well. But yeah, they just pop on there. There's just, I mean, without them in there, it's a little bit, it's a little bit sparse. You know, it just looks a bit uh, wrong in a way. Oh, she fell down. But yeah, with them in, that looks a little bit better, let's say. 
I mean, I can't actually get them back in now. Oh, well. That'll close like that anyway. Cool. Uh, and then around the back, it looks like an engine on the back. So, yeah, it's just nicely built up. So, not too much going on. Underneath looks good as well because it is it is all one. You know, the, the, the build of it is, like, all around. So, you don't get any, like, inverted studs or studs showing. So, there's a lot of... It's, it's nicely rounded. So it looks pretty good. Um, it is discontinued now. Obviously, this is an older set. We are looking at a, a, a much older set here. Well, say much older. A couple of years old now. Um, and this bit under here. See this bit? This is... A disc shooter. Now, that was another one of them. But it's gone behind me. It's in the city somewhere now. I heard it go click, click, click somewhere in the city behind my head. <laughs> so, yeah, that's pretty cool. Guys, quick little review because you can't even get hold of it anymore. Just wanted to show it to you and show you the features if you haven't seen it before. I suppose you could probably get one for pretty cheap still on the second hand market. Because I don't know if the value of these things have gone up too much. So, you know. You might be able to still get one for pretty cheap. But hey, this is, this is the eyeball. You watch out for us. We are going to shoot at some point. Goodbye. Oh. Hello guys, I'm Mr. Stabby. What's going on? I hear there's some trouble with a big eyeball. Yes, you cannot defeat us. I'm Mr. Stabby. I can defeat anything at all. I shot him. Goodbye. <sighs> so guys, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. And hit the subscribe button, hitting that notification bell. And comment away what you think of this. We'll call this a throwback Thursday build because we can't get it anymore. So it's kind of a throwback build. Throwback Thursday build. Yeah. See you guys later. Bye bye.